people have paid for you to be experiencing it. You have no idea. But yours is to support this work with that offering. Give an offering on behalf of your son, of your daughter, your family, your business. Sow a seed on behalf of your business. Because guidance is everything. Guidance is everything. Everyone, everywhere, if you, are, if you are in India, there is a number on the line, on the screen. Send way. Right there, you can see it. And those of you who are enjoying this via podcast, I want you to start sending your offerings also. Yes. The number is 059. 059. 452-0880 Ghana 059-452-0880 You are now without excuse 059-452-0880 I'm saying in English that you are now without excuse You know, the podcast people wrote sent me a message that because of the high traffic on the podcast, they are suggesting that I now introduce one dollar for every download. Yes. 
one dollar for every download. If I had introduced one dollar for every download, I would be rich by about hundred thousand dollars every so many weeks. Yes, I'm not joking. How can I say such English words when it's not true? And I said, I am not monetizing the gift of God. I'm not monetizing the gift of God. So if you are listening by pod, via podcast, the number is 054. 059, as you say, 059. 452. 059452. 0880. Now, those of you hiding outside Ghana who don't sow any seeds, your number is plus 233. Five nine one one zero three three one zero. I'll take it again. I'm very patient. I'm very patient. You are in India. You've been you are blessed by the podcast, but you don't give any offering. You are in America. Some of you are building your church with the podcast. Today I've got you. Plus two three three five nine. One one zero three three one zero. You are now without excuse. Yes. But I believe the final prayer we are praying. Everyone, everywhere. Sow your best seed. And we are praying now. You know, we have been praying for God to guide you to someone. We are now going to pray that God will guide someone to you. Amen. The helper of your destiny will be guided to you. Amen. That's the prayer we are praying now as we give our offering. In Acts chapter 8, the Bible says, the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, verse 26, saying, Arise, and go toward the sea. Is it guidance? Are you seeing guidance? God will speak to your beloved to arise and start walking towards you. The man who will employ you will start walking towards you. The sister who will help you will start walking towards you. It's also your guidance for the year. Receive it now. So arise and go down towards the south to the way that thou goest from Jerusalem to Gaza which is desert. So he arose. So the offering you are giving will let the person who hears the guidance to obey. He arose and went. And behold, a man of Ethiopia, an eunuch of great authority under Kandake. That is not Candace, it's Kandake. That's the real pronunciation. Kandake, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of her treasure. And had come to Jerusalem for to worship. So he was returning. And was reading Isaiah the prophet. I'm sure Isaiah 53 there about. Yes, said like a lamb led to the slaughter. So Philip went to him. And asked that, do you understand what you are reading? Verse 30. Do you understand what you are reading? But if you go to verse 29. There was more guidance. The spirit said to Philip, go near. Ah, that offer, that seed you are sowing will trigger directions into specificity. Amen. Go near and join yourself. These are details that a man cannot give. Yes, the person supposed to help you will receive details that a man cannot give. Go near. Join yourself to the chariot. So Philip ran the that to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, how can I? Except some man should guide me. The guy, the man with the guidance. I said, the man with the guidance had appeared. Matuni Mahata. Some of you here, your destinies are waiting for a man. And if you may not be guided there, I've shown you a biblical correlates that God can guide him from wherever he is. 
to where you are. The person to help you is coming. He is coming. Amen. He is coming. Amen. He is coming. Amen. He doesn't know that it's even because of you he is coming. Uh -huh. But he's coming. Yes. Yeah. Give your offering right now. And we are praying our final prayer that Father, Father. send them by divine guidance Amen. into my life. Oh, as a pastor, he has sent them to me. Yes. Most of the people who are even helping me in this way, God sent them. never gone somewhere to go and steal somebody's member. I was there. Somebody who doesn't go to church. If, if I, now they come on, now they, they even come as beloveds. They come as beloveds. Send them, Lord. Why is your life lonely? Someone should come who hasn't come. Give that offering somebody here in this meeting I'm asking you to give again yes I don't know why I'm saying this I've never said this before give again if you have given, give again just send some money again God's power can guide towards you you may not go you may be sitting in your church and the boy will come. You'll be sitting in your church and the girl will come. You'll be in your church and the employer will come to you where you are. It's not always that God takes you somewhere. He was transferred from Jerusalem to Gaza. We are praying as you send the offering. Give your offering as we close. Lift your hands and receive the grace. To pray. As you pray, they are, they are coming towards you. They are being guided towards you. They are approaching you. I said, they are coming. I know they are coming. I know the distance between those people and you, that man and you, that woman and you, the distance is narrowing. The distance is narrowing. It's coming closer. It's coming closer. Pray now. Pray. Rima Mayan Dalababa, Rima Mamma, Rima Sunalababa, Rababa, yes, you are able, you are able, you are able to send them into our lives, you are able to guide them to us.
Bobosa. said he leadeth me in paths of righteousness what you're about to eat is to open your eyes so you see you see your way because many are blind in Luke 24 verse 30 Bible says and it came to pass as he sat at meat with them he took bread and blessed it and break it and give to them. Verse 31. And their eyes were opened and they knew him. And so he vanished out of their sight. There's a type of meal when you eat. Your eyes open and you know things. As we eat this bread, may your eyes be open. Amen to see the paths God is going to guide you along. The opening of eyes. The bread of heaven. The body of Christ. The bread of heaven. The bread of life. The living bread. The body of Christ. Let's eat it. you from seeing Jesus. shall be taken away. 
because the power is in the blood of Jesus. Say the blood of Jesus. The blood of Christ. Say the blood of Christ. For the opening of my eyes. For revelation. For guidance. The blood of Christ. Let's drink it. Lift your hands. As we depart, as we go our ways, may you be guided into blessed places. Amen. Receive guidance into places of provision. Receive guidance into places of prosperity. The Lord guide thee continually and satisfy your soul and make your bones fat and make you like a watered garden and cause your waters never to fail. Receive the blessing of God's guidance. May he guide you to every and any place of his blessing for your life. Guide them. Guide him. Guide her. Yes. We are pilgrims. Guide us, Jehovah. I prophesy that you are going to stumble upon gold and silver. By the guidance of God. I said, by the guidance of God. Your decisions and analysis are going to be now supernaturally infused with power. Your thoughts are now supernatural. Your decisions are now divine. Receive that guidance. Receive Receive that blessing. And the Lord watch over you. Prosper you. Strengthen you. And keep you. Till we meet again. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. I'm glad you came to church in your house. Pray that we meet again next week. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.